We are especially known all over the world for our work on small babies and infants liver transplants. So these are very challenging. We do this on babies who weigh between 2 and 8 kilos and are anywhere from 1 month to 1 year old. There are three main challenges in these babies. One is that they are very small and they need very small livers. So when we remove about 20% of the liver from the donor which is usually one of the parents we have to further reduce it down to a single segment of the liver a liver has eight segments we normally transplant two three four segments so we have to cut it down to mono segment the second kind of surgical challenge is that since they are very small they have a very small blood volume so even a bleeding of like 20 or 30 mils is a lot of bleeding so we have to do bloodless surgery and the third challenge is small blood vessels so when we remove the portion of the liver from the donor to transplant we have to transplant that portion of the liver into the recipient joining very fine vessels which are about half to 1 mm so you can't do them wearing normal uh, spectacles or with naked eye so we wear special surgical magnifying glasses or loops these can give me a magnification of up to 4 and for higher magnification for very small blood vessels we use the operating microscope there is a myth which we bursted people always used to say that liver transplants are not successful in less than 10 kgs and 37% of transplants we've actually done in small babies less than 10 kgs with a mean of around 5 to 7 kgs So yes there are a lot of challenges involved in it and once again you need a very strong team. So the challenges start right from intraoperative surgical issues and postoperative. You have a very narrow margin of safety. You have to monitor the child like a hawk. There is a very narrow margin to ensure everything is going perfect when it comes to monitoring for infections, the vessels, the arteries the nutrition the physiotherapy they cannot communicate so that is another thing that you stuck with that they so that the the doctor has to be smart to understand what the child is uh, is trying to say and in, in addition to it uh, when i said you need a support of the parallel support i need a dialysis i need plasma for it. so so i need a very strong support system in the in the hospital to carry such uh, small babies and transplant and i would truly want to pat my team for doing a commendable job we've been able to successfully do over 120 small babies and infants with 97% success rate